Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create an error bar in a line chart. So what is an error bar? Uh, basically error bars are used more in the statistical or scientific approach uh, for data. But according to Microsoft here, their, their definition of an error bar is it expresses potential error amounts that are graphically relative to each data point or data marker in a data series. So it's basically there to gauge some variability or error or a degree of uncertainty in your data. So let me show you how that this is created. Now in this instance we're using a maybe this is sales data and there is forecasted sales data and then there's actual sales data and maybe we are looking at seeing how variable the actual data the actual sales data is from the forecasted data. So maybe we're saying in the forecasted data it's going to be plus or minus an X amount of percentage uh, we are expecting the uncertainty around that and if, it, it, if it's over or under then we want to know the explanation of it and this is um, this may be a way of kind of plotting out or charting out forecast versus actuals and kind of understanding that data so let's go ahead and see how we can create this I'm going to go ahead and copy this data set here this range of data control C to copy I'm going to bring it into sheet 2 control V to paste and here I just need to insert a line chart. So I'm just, since it's already selected the range here, I'm going to go click insert line chart here. And that is my line chart here. Let me go ahead and just move the legend over to the top. And now we have our forecasted line, which is the blue line, and we have our actual lines. Now we want to check the variability of the actual data from the forecast. So I'm going to click and select the forecast line and under layout go under the analysis group and under error bars now you can see there are several options here you can do standard error percentage or standard deviation or there's more options and they'll have these available too but if we click more options you can see that there is under the format error bars window there's a lot of things you can kind of customize do we want the top bars do we just want bottom bars uh, or top bars the minus plus the end style, do, you, do we want a point or do you want a cap? So there's a lot of things that we can adjust. There's line color, line style, shadow, glow and soft edges. There's, But we're not going to do too much of the formatting here. What we're concerned about is the error amount. So as I said before, there's different options here, those three. You can have the standard deviation, standard error, or you can even customize, uh, customize it. But let's say, for example, in our example, we want to look at a percentage of how much the actual amount deviates from the forecast and let's just say we don't we don't want it to deviate 15 percent up or down so what's going to do is when it closes it's going to create these up and down error bars that are that are 15 percent above the forecast and 15 percent below so we see here the actual chart fairly within the error ranges plus or the um, plus and minus 15 percent of the forecast but here we start to see it go up so in this instance it provides opportunity to look into why the actuals are above this forecast amount uh, why it's above the 15 percent of the forecast so the error bars are just another analysis tool that you can use in excel so i hope this helps thanks for watching if you want to see more videos from me click here to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and leave a comment below i'd like to hear from you and hope to see the feedback also, do you think others might benefit from this video? If so, click the share text below. YouTube will automatically provide a shortened link to this video and give you options to share on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and other social networking sites. Again, thanks for watching.